All right, let's continue with part two. Now, what are some diagnostic procedures that you could do for the eye? Um, you can do a fluorescein angiography, which is a dye injection to examine blood flow in the retina. You can do an ophthalmoscopy, a visual examination of the interior of the eye through a dilated pupil. You can do a slit lamp microscopy, which is a magnified view expanding the number of eye structures. Now, some of the uh, diagnostic procedures, you probably have done this, the Snellen chart, uh, when you go to the doctor's office, uh, visual acuity tests, uh, say if you have 20-20 vision, you, know, you can see a certain line at 20 from 20 feet. The visual field test measures visual fields when eyes are fixed forward. Check your peripheral vision. Uh, some treatments you can do if you have some disorders. You can do enucleation, which is remo removal of the entire eyeball. Uh, you can do laser photocoagulation. An arson la laser creates an inflammatory reaction that seals retinal tears and leaky blood vessels. Or you can do the Lasix. Some of you might have had uh, the Lasix, which is laser to correct errors of refraction by sculpting the cornea. You have to do that at an early age because once uh, I think after the age of 40, uh, you cannot do that as much because you have some permanent uh, changes that occur. Um, what's some treatment that you can do? You can do a keratoplasty, which is surgical repair of the cornea. So if you look at that, it's kind of interesting. It's a corneal transplant, basically. The patient's scarred or opaque cornea is replaced with donor cornea. The scleral buckle is a suture of a silicone band to the scleral over the detached portion of the retina. Phacoemulsification, ultrasound to break up a lens of aspiration for cataract removal. Vitreectomy, removal of vitreous and replacement with a clear solution. Some abbreviations that you can do, ALT, Argon Laser Trabeculoplasty, AMD, Age-Related Macular De Degeneration, H-E-E-N-T, Head, Ears, Nose, and Throat, IOP, Intraocular Lens, IOP, Intraocular Pressure, Laser, Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation, uh, LASIK, Laser in Sucho Keratomyeliosis, OD, right eye, doctor of optometry. OS, left eye. OU, both eyes. PERLA, pupils equal round reactive to light and accommodation. POG, primary open angular glaucoma. PRK, photoreflective keratectomy. SLT, selective laser trabeculoplastomy. VA, that's your visual acuity, and VF is your visual field. Okay, that was a good little eye, but now let's go on to the ear. So and again, this is not an anatomy and physiology class, but you still should know a general idea of what the ear is composed of. You have the outer ear receives the sound waves, the sound waves travel to the middle ear, and then the sound vibrations reach the inner ear, which is the labyrinth. Um, the oracle, the thepina, you have an external auditory meatus or auditory canal. You have the tympanic membrane, which is known as the eardrum. You have the malleus, the incus, the stapes, oval window, station tube, cochlea, auditory nerves, vestibule, and semicircular canals. So on our canvas, I do have some videos that you can see how we uh, process this uh, hearing. So again, here's the pina or the oracle, external auditory meatus. Here's the malleus, incus, and stapes. So basically, sound travels. Your your ear, the shape of the ears, uh, collect those sound waves. The tympanic membrane vibrates and magnifies those sound waves. The bones will magnify it a little bit more. Then it goes into the oval window and it goes into the cochlea, where there's uh, perilymph and endolymph. And again, those vibrations will travel, and uh, they really don't get interpreted until they go from the nerve signals into the auditory nerve fibers, the cochlear vestibular or vestibular cochlear nerve, the cochlear division, and then it goes into the temporal lobe of the brain. 
the outer ear is the pinar oracle, which is the projecting flap. Uh, obviously, uh, elephants have a huge oracle. The external auditory meatus, auditory canal. The middle ear has your eardrum, which is the tympanic membrane, the malleus incostapes, the oval window, eustachian tube. Okay. Uh, inner ear, labyrinth, cochlea, auditory nerve fibers. Uh, you do balance and equilibrium uh, within the semicircular canals and the vestibule. All right, so what's the auditory canal? What's the auditory meatus? What's the auditory nerve fibers? The auditory canal is the channel that leads from the pina to the eardrum. The auditory meatus is the auditory canal. Auditory nerve fibers carry impulses from the inner ear to the brain. Auditory tube, the oracle, and the cerumen. Uh, auditory tube, channel between the middle ear and the nasopharynx, eustachian tube, that's where uh, kids get a lot of ear infections because their auditory tube is shorter and uh, as we get older that becomes more angular and longer so we have less infections as an adult. The oracle is the flap of the ear, protruding part of the external ear or pina. The serum, which is ear wax, waxy substance created by the external ear to keep your ear canal safe, trap foreign particles and insects. Cochlea, snail-shaped spiral wound uh, t uh, tube in the inner ear. Endolymph is fluid with the labyrinth of the inner ear. Eustachian tube is an auditory tube. Incus, labyrinth, malleus. Uh, incus is the second ossicle of the middle ear. Labyrinth is a maze-like series of canals of the inner ear. Malleus is the first ossicle of the middle ear. Organ of corti, ossicle oval window. Organ of corti is the sensitive auditory receptor area found in the cochlea of the inner ear. Ossicle is a small bone of the ear. Oval window, membrane between the middle ear and the inner ear. Perilymph, the pina and the semicircular canals. Perilymph, fluid contained in the labyrinth of the inner ear. Pina, oracle, flap of the ear. Semicircular canals, passages in the inner ear associated with maintaining equilibrium. Uh, stapes, tympanic membrane, vestibule. Stapes is the third ossicle of the middle ear. Tympanic membrane, membrane between the outer and the middle ear. Vestibule, central cavity of the labyrinth connecting the semicircular canals and the cochlea. So what's the snail-shaped, spirally wound tube in the area that contains hearing-sensitive receptor cells? That's the cochlea, D. All right, what is acous? So you guys have heard of acoustics, right? So I don't know if you have uh, played uh, musical instruments or anything like that, but that's acoustics. Um, but what about when it comes to, what, what does that mean? Pertaining to sound, Audi is uh, hearing, so audiometer, uh, instrument to measure the sharpness of hearing. Audit, hearing, uh, auditory, pertaining to hearing. Uh, oral ear, uh, that could be oral discharge, discharge uh, material from the ear. Post auricular, pertaining to behind the ear. Uh, cochlea, uh, cochlea or cochlear, pertaining to the cochlea. Uh, mastoid is a mastoid process that's a uh, bony protuberance behind your ear. You can get mastoiditis, inflammation of the mastoid process behind the ear. Meringe, eardrum, tympanic membrane, so meringeotomy, uh, incision of the eardrum. Meringitis, inflammation of the eardrum. Uh, ot, ot is ear, so otic pertaining to the ear. Automycosis, abnormal condition of fungal infection in the ear. Salpinge is the station tube, so uh, salpinge Salpingopharyngeal, pertaining to the station tube and the, the throat. Uh, salpingitis, uh, inflammation of the station tube. Stapid is uh, stapes, so stapedius or stapedectomy, removal of the stapes bone. Uh, timp eardrum, so you can get tympanoplasty, surgical repair of the eardrum. That's common in kids when they put the Q-tip too far in. Uh, vestibular is the vestibular, so vestibular cochlear uh, nerve. What about cussus? Um, presbycussus, progressive bilateral hearing loss occurring with age. A meter, instrument for measure. 
measuring and otia is an ear condition so macrotia condition of large ears and microtia condition of small ears now you can get an acoustic neuroma which is a benign tumor arising uh, from the eighth cranial nerve causing tinnitus vertigo uh, dizziness and decreased hearing you can get a cholesteotomy or i'm sorry cholesteotoma skin cells and cholesterol in the sac in the middle ear cyst-like mass associated with chronic infections uh, deafness uh, loss of ability to hear uh, Meniere's disease very common disorder of the labyrinth with elevated in endolymph pressure in the cochlea and semicircular canals causing tinnitus uh, sensitivity to sound progressive hearing loss headache nausea and vertigo otitis media inflammation of the middle ear Autosclerosis, hardening of the bony tissue in the labyrinth. Uh, you've heard of tinnitus, sensation of noises, ringing, buzzing, whistling, uh, booming in the ears. Uh, vertigo, sensation of irregular motion, whirling from disease of the inner ear or nerve carrying messages from the semicircular canal. So m make sure you know that vertigo and tinnitus are not the same thing. So tinnitus is sensation of noises, such as ringing, buzzing, whistling. Vertigo is a sensation of irregular motion okay, of the inner ear. Audiometry, an audiometer is an electrical device used to determine hearing loss by frequency. Uh, you can do a cochlear implant, surgically implanted device that allows sensory neural hearing impaired persons to understand speech. Ear thermometry, uh, body temperature measured with infrared radiation from the eardrum. Otoscopy is a visual examination of the ear with a small handheld scope. Uh, tuning fork test, hearing test using a vibration fork. Uh, Rini is a fork is placed against the mastoid bone. Uh, bone conduction in front of the auditory meatus, air condition, conduction. Weber is a fork is placed on the center of the forehead. Uh, normal hearing has equal loudness in both ears. So what are some abbreviations that uh, occur? There are not too many when it comes to the ear, but AD is the right ear. AS is the left ear. AOM is the acute otitis media. EENT, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. ENG, electronystagmography. ENT, uh, ear, nose, and throat. ETD, station tube dysfunction. HEENT, head, ear, Eyes, ears, nose, and throat. PE tube, pressure equalizing tube. Uh, so we've heard of uh, people that have put tubes in their ear. Uh, and then SOM is serous otitis media.